Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a couple of programs that allow you to speed up and slow down an audio file without changing the pitch. And it's brought to you by my website, teachingyourselfspanish.com. So the first program I'm going to show you is called Transcribe. Now um, it brings up, this is a pretty advanced program, it's, it only costs $50. It's an audio editing program which is designed for musicians to help them slow down um, passages of music that they're trying to learn or they're trying to practice or they're trying to transcribe and learn all the notes. Let's say it's a very fast passage. So it comes with this keyboard function which is not really applicable to what we're going to use it for, which is to transcribe um, audios from one language. Uh, well, just not to translate the audio, but to transcribe it. So. Um, being able to slow down a, a audio, let's say in Spanish, is going to be a lot easier to type um, along with it. So that's the main purpose for this program. Um, so up here is a red arrow. Well, let's look up here. This is a the um, a visual of the audio that we're looking at, and the top line is the, that's probably the left channel, and the bottom line is the right channel. So they're going to be the same. So um, this red arrow here is our start point. Um, it's just a random place that I selected to start the um, to start the example. So down here we have play and pause and stop. So I'm going to hit play first and let's watch the uh, the, di the visual scroll across. The Solo un ejercicio puede causar que ciertos capilares en el corazón se activen y ciertas partes en el corazón sean nutridas con. Okay, so here you could see the a visual representation of the speaker. So let's say we want to hear this part over here again. We would just click here and the red arrow shows up and that's our new start point. So we can hit play. And repeat that over and over as much as we need to in order to hear, let's say we're trying to hear what they're saying so we can type it, type it out. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is a slow down uh, up here you have a little guy running and then you can slow it down to 70%, 50%, 35% and you can speed it up to 150%. You can actually go in here and click on audio effects and controls and speed and change the uh, number manually if you wanted to um, get let's say 125% or 121%. So let's listen to him at 121%. Y ciertas partes en el corazón sean nutridas con sangre. Solo el ejercicio lo puede hacer. So it sounds a little bit faster. So I'm going to do, now I'm going to go back to 100% and switch it to 70% and go down to 50% and 35%. So you can see and hear how it, um, the pitch stays the same as you slow down. Y ciertas partes en el corazón sean nutridas con sangre. Solo el ejercicio lo puede hacer. Here's 70%. Claro está, si usted tiene una condición del de corazón, o si usted tiene una edad avanzada, usted tiene que actuar de acuerdo con la edad y la condición en la que usted tiene. That's 50%, it's really slow. Y si nunca ha hecho ningún ejercicio... And 35% is really slow and it starts to kind of margle. Uh, margle kind of uh, makes audio quality sound... Um, a little bit strange. So um, anyway, that's your uh, quick tutorial overview of Transcribe. Again, it's a fifty-dollar program. You get a free trial version of it that lasts for thirty days if you want to check it out. This other program I'm going to show you is called the Amazing Slow Downer, and it doesn't give you the visual cue, um, which makes it hard to uh, dial in to the specific place you want to. Um, listen to over and over again. So that's why I like Transcribe, the program Transcribe, a lot better for transcribing something and slowing things down. However, the Amazing Slow Downer is a lot easier to um, speed up an audio. So let's look Learn at that. Spanish like crazy. Spoken Spanish. Lección extra. So right here you could see we're at 153%. So I'm going to slow it down and let's watch how easy this is to do. It's got a scroll bar here called the speed bar. Learning Spanish like crazy. Spoken Spanish. Lección extra. E. 
Escucha la siguiente conversación. ¿Has visto la última película italiana? No. ¿Y tú? Sí, es buenísima. Es... So here, um, the uh, great thing for this is, let's say you have an audio that you're working with, but the speakers are too slow. So I'm going to use for an example notes in Spanish, which I really like a lot. They do a podcast, a, learn, a Spanish learning podcast. But um, for me, sometimes uh, they just speak too slow. And so what I do is I just speed them up. And then um, after I do that, I, I, you can save it. And you can save all these files too at your desired speed. And then, put, and then transport it to your portable so you could work with the audios um, at a quicker speed. So here's a notes in Spanish example. Real Spanish control. Module one, Tegra. Caja negra. Caja. <laughs> right here. Okay. Um, speed limit. Limite de velocidad. And um, policy, as in an insurance, could be a bit of a negative thing. In so they speak kind of slow in these audios for me, at least at the intermediate level and probably at the beginner level programs. They have advanced levels too where they probably speak fast, faster. I haven't got to those yet. So let's listen to this and I'm going to speed them up and check it out. Real Spanish Control, Module 1. Uh, este sistema está instalado en 10.000 coches de jóvenes en España y manda información automáticamente a las compañías de seguros. So at 153%, you can really, I mean, I, where I'm at in my studies, I can totally understand what they're saying, and it saves me some time, so I, you know, it just makes it more fun to listen to at a faster speed. Also, the problem with this one is you can't really cue in uh, where you want it. You can kind of get a ballpark, but what, what happens is um, this little thing just isn't very accurate, as we saw with the other with the transcribe program, where you had a really good visual of where you want to dial into. And so this is not really the best feature for slowing down audio. Um, for speeding it up, I kind of like it better because I think the sound quality is a little better too. And also, um, you can have the scroll bar here, which makes it easier to get the exact speed percentage that you want. Okay, that's going to be it for this tutorial. The um, Amazing Slowdowner and Transcribe are um, going to be linked on my website if you want to purchase those. And the website is teachingyourselfspanish.com. And that's it for today. Thanks a lot for checking this out. Bye-bye.